When I took the watch almost four years ago, it struck me. We have the 200th commemoration of the War of 1812 right around the corner. Our Navy birthday, again, right around the corner. We need to bring history back into the mainstream. We need to get back to our roots, to what makes us who we are. We are sailors. We go to sea. The essence of what we do is out at sea. So I thought it very important to grasp the fact that the War of 1812 really defined our Navy as it is today. Our traditions, our heroes, most of them come in and around the War of 1812. And as we look forward, as, as we come forward and we take the time to remember who we are, a birthday, it should be a big deal. It should be part of our mainstream. Those of us in positions of responsibility and leadership, we have a host of requirements and responsibilities. One of them is to preserve our heritage and our legacy. Why? There's a tremendous curiosity of our sailors and our families today. What makes up this Navy and where did it come from? Frequently what we find is there were ordinary people doing extraordinary things and the challenges of today are similar to the challenges those before us took on and made this Navy the great Navy it is today. And I look out into the future, I see a very complicated landscape sequestration, budget control act, unstable world, a lot of talk about cyber, high tech. And I said, look, we need to get back to our roots. Any sailor that goes to sea has to check sailing directions. That's going to be my vision statement, sailing directions. Every year, we'll do a navigation report. We'll lay it out, what is our navigation plan for the year, and we'll take a position report that same year, and we'll adjust. That will be our journey again, underpinned by the tradition, by the legacy of going to sea. To be the Chief of Naval Operations, it's a dream job. Job of tremendous responsibility, a job of tremendous authority. What I like most about it is the requirement to interface with my constituency. 320,000 sailors out there, their families, our civilian shipmates, it's a great opportunity, it's the greatest job in the world. I love representing them, and I love the opportunity to paint the mosaic of the future. 100 years of an office is something that we should stop, we should mark, we should understand what the essence of it is. What makes our Navy so great? Clearly technology, we are the most technologically advanced Navy. I'm standing in front of the fighting top of the Constitution probably the highest technologically advanced ship in our Navy and in the world in its day. But what made the difference then and what makes the difference today? People thinking about war fighting first all the time. A Navy that operates forward on behalf of its nation and a ready Navy. War fighting first, operating forward and being ready. That's made the difference then, that makes the difference today. All underwritten by people. People with leadership and people with integrity and character and people skilled in the craft of their job being sailors.